Hello and welcome to today's video. Um, my name is Cinnamon Wolf, photo editor and business coach for photographers and small business owners. Um, and a Squarespace Ninja is what I like to call myself. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about getting started with the Bedford template, which is actually one of my favorite templates on the Squarespace platform. Um, so there are a few things that are a little tricky with this template. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that you have a good understanding of how those things work um, so that you can use this template to its full capabilities. Okay, so so I have uh, gone ahead and installed the Bedford template um, and made a site out of it. This is how it installs right out of the box. So you can see um, kind of how it looks. I did make one small change. This usually looks like a button up here, but I'll show you a little bit more about that. Um, so you can see that the one of the nice things about the Bedford template is that it does have these nice big um, full bleed header images. Um, and just one thing to note is that you don't have to have the image go all the way to the top if you want to actually show a navigation bar you can do that through site styles. Um, right here, this uh, section right here, this is transparent on banner images. If you uncheck that, you'll see that you actually have a navigation instead um, of the of your navigation showing on top of the image. And then you can, of course, change the color of that navigation bar through, you know, putting a hex code or just, uh, you know, looking at that color. So we're going to go ahead and click that back. So I kind of like the way that this looks on top of the header image. Now, I mentioned before about this being a button. If we um, click right here under Let's see where it's at. Enable nav button. If I click that, you'll see that that turns this into an actual button. And you can actually style this button uh, through site styles um, as well, but we're gonna go ahead and just leave that as is. Um, but if you don't like that button option, this is where you would uh, just check it off um, so you don't have an actual button in your navigation bar. Okay, so let's go back and look at an actual page. So one of the things that's most important about the Bedford template is that you can make this header image um, a rotating gallery of images. Now, how you would do that, they used to actually have this in the template itself um, once you downloaded it, but I see that they've changed it. So I went ahead and created a page that has a rotating gallery. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So on the contact page, I have updated this page to show just an actual rotating gallery of images in the header of this page. Now let me show you what that looks like. We're just going to edit the page itself. So you can see this is the page, the contact page and we're going to edit the page and you'll see that this gallery shows up which has these images in it. So the trick about this is that you have to include a gallery, a slideshow gallery as the very first block on a page in order for those gallery images to show in your header. So if I click on this gallery block, you can see I have those three images added into this slideshow gallery. And in the settings of each of these images, I have the word contact listed in bold, which means that it will show here on top of the header image itself um, as it's rotating through. I actually have that on every image. You can change that text. It doesn't have to be the same text. You could have something different on every image if you wanted it to. So once you save the page and refresh, you'll see that that block actually disappears. No longer there. And those images are pushed up into the header. So this is a really nice feature, especially if you're wanting to rotate through multiple images. Let's say you're a photographer and you want to show multiple different wedding images as a full bleed header right when someone gets to your site. It's a great way to do that. So the other thing about the Bedford template is that the blog sidebar is not actually... Um, it doesn't show default when you uh, install the template. So I've actually already turned it on, but normally this would show just a regular blog page and the sidebar would not be here. You can see I'm hovering over it in order to get it to show up. If I click edit, it allows me to actually add, you know, text box or image blocks into that sidebar content. So if it's not showing, uh, the one place you need to look is back in our trusty, dusty site styles under design. You'll see right here, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's a blog sidebar um, call out right here. If we clicked this to hide it, then the sidebar would go away. The content would get a little bit more centered on the page. Um, I'm always a huge fan of including a sidebar on your blog, however, though. I think it's a great way to get people to more of your content in an easy to find way. Um, so I always am a fan of not hiding the sidebar and including it on the page. 
Okay, so those are just a few of the uh, things with the Bedford template that I think are really important. Um, let's see if there's anything else I want to include. Um, I think that's probably about it. So, um, oh, let's talk about this a little bit before we go. Okay, so this right here, so you can see this is just one image. This is not a rotating gallery. If we click on the gear icon for this page, you'll see that the under the media in the settings is the image. So if you want to change that image, that's where you would change it. And then this text right here, you can see is listed in the page description. So we have three different lines and they're all styled a little bit differently. So this is just normal text, this is bold text, and this is a link. So you can actually style all three of those things, um, normal text, bold, and a link in your site styles as well. And you can see that's why these are the three different types of text on this image. So you can change these words, you can style them to look a little bit differently, but that's how you would include them if you just have a single image on your header of a Bedford template page. Now again, if you're looking at a rotating gallery, you would have to include that text on top of the images in the gallery. I hope that that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to put it in the comments below. Again, thank you for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, click that notification bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will get notified. Thanks for joining and we'll see you soon.